Jake Ludington here at Discover 2015 in London, and I'm here with Paul Miller. And of course, the big story here at Discover is Synergy, and it's it's the composable story you guys have been telling for a, a number of months leading up to it, but you didn't really tip your hand as to what it was. But who's the competition for this Synergy product? Well, you can think about all the major competitors who are building converged systems or hyper-converged systems today. And we see a lot of them, you know, all of a sudden raising their hands saying, I'm composable, I'm composable, I'm composable wannabe, and kind of murking what really composability is all about. So, so you're making the claim that nobody else actually has composability. Nobody actually has full composability. To be fully composable, you need a few things. First, you need to be able to compose all the elements of the infrastructure compute, storage, and fabric. Last time I checked, applications need all of these, so if you can't compose all of these, you're not composable. Next, what you need to be able to do is cover all workloads, physical, virtual, and containerized. If you're just doing virtual, like hyperconverged, you're just virtualization. You're yeah, not so, composable. So how is that different than just uh, uh, throwing up a bunch of VMs? Yeah, that's not different than throwing up VMs. Composable is I can compose physical assets. I can disaggregate the, the physical compute, the physical storage, and the physical fabric to say stand up a workload like SQL which wants to run in bare metal or a lot of today's uh, applications that are built for the cloud. In addition, you want it to have composability for all your applications, whether they need software-defined storage or they need SAN, DAS, lock file object. If you can only do software-defined, you're still just hyper-converged. You're not a full converged system. If you can't do a composed SAN, if it requires you to do multiple tools and have multiple APIs and multiple interfaces, that's not saving people time to getting them to stand up you know, in three minutes the workloads and the infrastructure to deliver at cloud speed. So you're not composable. You're not delivering the value of composability. So we're out there. We believe we are uh, talking to customers about how composability can help you deliver at cloud speed, reduce the over-provisioning, but you need all the elements to actually deliver that value. So we're hoping that our customers understand that and uh, we're communicating that very clearly to them at the show. You know, that sounds like a, a very familiar story because I seem to remember um, HP kind of being way out in front in converged systems when, when that was sort of emerging as, as a concept. Yeah, absolutely. We set the framework and put the stake in the ground for what converged systems was about pulling together compute storage and, and uh, management into a single infrastructure. And that did a great job, but those were still static. So a lot of the people are now taking converged systems and putting a wash over it and saying, oh, it's composable. We can't take our static and make it composable. We're not claiming any of our converged systems are composable or hyperconverged systems. And we don't want our competitors to do that and confuse customers as well. So what are kind of, uh, if you want to just touch on very briefly, what are kind of some of the uh, key areas that makes Synergy special? Key areas that makes Synergy special is, one, it boots up ready to go for your, for your infrastructure. Because it has the flexible and be able to disaggregate compute, storage, and fabric it boots up and says, hey, I'm ready. Tell me what you want to deploy on, on me. Second, it has these templates that not only can deploy the compute, the storage, and the fabric, but also a bootable image. So the whole operating environment, whether it be you know, a Red Hat environment, a Microsoft environment, or even a virtualization environment like ESX. So a template that not only can stand up all elements of the hardware with a few clicks, but also deploy and have a boot image, sorry, a boot image there as well. So a customer can go to their site and say, I want to deploy, let's say, a virtualization farm within a few clicks, three minutes. They've got VMs ready to go for their end users. All right, well it sounds like customers need to pay attention and, and make sure when they are looking at Composable, that's really what they're getting. They, they need to make sure they get the true Composable infrastructure so they get the true value of reduced costs and, and time to market with new applications. All right, thanks, Paul. Thank you, Jake.